Now, Suzanne, if you want to greet someone, you do this. <laughs> See, that means welcome. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Why can't I just wave? Well, okay, the reason is a wave can have lots of different meanings. Now, it's kind of like that Jewish word shalom, which also has several different meanings. It can mean hello, goodbye, peace, or the Hawaiian word, aloha. Now, all right, all right. Yes, well, as Julia Sugarbaker's personal manager, I feel compelled to inform you that she is retired. Should anyone want to review more of her purse art, I suggest contacting the accessory department at your local J.C. Penney's. Bye, thank you. Another art magazine. The third one this morning. Apparently, I am the hot new commodity in the art world. Those people who bought my purse not only have big wallets, they have big mouths. Come on, Julia, aren't you the least little bit proud that people are excited about your work? I mean, come on, Van Gogh only sold one piece of art his whole entire life. Oh, <gasps> Julie, you are tied with Van Gogh. There's that hot new artist. Rosalind, we have to talk. Now, Julia, you left so quickly yesterday, I didn't have a chance to give you your money. Less my commission, of course. You know I'm not going to take that. I only went along with your pranks, so I wouldn't cause a scene at your opening. Come on, Julia, loosen up. I love art as much as you do. People like the Fred Holds deserve to be tweaked every once in a while. Anyway, they're very happy. And they've been telling people, because I've been getting phone calls like crazy, everybody wants to see more of your work. Isn't that a hoot? Oh, well, gee, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of purses. <laughs> Perhaps your clients would be interested in some belts or some shoes. Or some old under things. <laughs> Julie, but what about all those paintings you got up in your attic? Paintings? Oh, yeah, she's got lots of them up there. She's never let us see any of them, though. Charlene, I don't think that would be quite Rosalind's kind of art. Oh, come on, Julia, try me. You know, a lot of people would kill for an opportunity like this. Anyway, Thursday night, I always show new artists. If you decide to, just bring your paintings on by. No pressure. And we'll just throw them up on the walls and see what happens. Hmm? I gotta run. Bye-bye, Julia. Bye. Well, bye. Oh, oh. hi. Hi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Julia, this is so exciting. You've been discovered. Guess what, Charlene? I've got great news. So does Julia. She's gonna be famous. Oh, great. <laughs> I've been down to McCurdy's uh, You Pull It Yourself salvage yard. And I found a bumper for your car, and it's fantastic. I didn't find a fender yet, but they're working on it. <laughs> what? It, it, it's practically brand new. Rachel, I would just be willing to forget this whole thing, but you're the one who's insistent on making it right, and I just think that you should have asked me first if I wanted some old used junk parts on my car. Well, all right, Charlene. You win. I mean, I have done everything I can to come up with a creative solution. Why, for Pete's sake, when Suzanne scratched my car, we didn't have this much trouble, did we, Suzanne? Tell her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there you have it. And if that explanation isn't good enough for you, well, I just give up. I forgot my bumper. <laughs>